on guys um, so today we're actually at certified diesel power out in Elizabeth town um, I said I had something coming new for the truck I didn't say it in the last video but I said it in my um, social media but uh, we got something new coming for the truck like I told you guys um, the tires that are on the forces right now the 325s are just way too big um, so I mean I guess you can already see where this is going so um, I'll keep you guys updated. I'll record as much as I can. I don't know how these guys are with uh, recording and uh, things like that. So um, I just record what I can. All right. Ah, see, there we go. Certified diesel power. And I love that color combo on that fourth gen. And it's a mega. So we did get the new tires mounted on the truck. Like I said, shout out to Certified Diesel Power out in um, Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Um, so they were at it for a good bit. I mean, they were at it for like six hours. But they were relentless. They weren't going to stop because with the new setup, um, what I ran is a pretty difficult, um, pretty difficult tire to, or wheel or tire to put on the wheel. Um, unless you use like fire and things like that and they don't they can do it, but they didn't really want to um, So they used I think they used the the air guns or whatever they call the cheetahs I guess or something like that So um, I guess without further ado, uh, we'll just jump straight into the truck So here it is Your boys back on bands All right, so you guys already know the wheel setup, but in case you're new to the channel um, these are 24 by 14 American Force Luckies, and now they're wrapped in a 305-35-24 um, street tire. They're the Nexon, um, Nexon Rodian or whatever. You can just look up Nexon and their 305s, and this is the most popular tire that they have for it. So, like I said, um, they did kind of struggle, but I mean, look at this this lip right here. I mean, that is ridiculous. I like, look at it how much it just pokes out but I'm not afraid I mean I ran that before I ran that before pulling goosenecks I'm not too worried about it but um that's the new setup old tires I'm not leaving them there I'm not trashing them or littering or whatever I just took them out because they were in the bed of my truck for right now they're actually posted for sale in the marketplace anybody in like the central Kentucky area if they want them then come get them um I got them priced pretty cheap. They actually do have a decent amount of tread left on them. Um, I'll show you guys right now. But like I said, these are 325, 45R24s. And as you can tell, they still got a decent amount of tread on them. And I mean, actually, when you get it, when you get it on <clears throat> by itself, um, I mean, they're actually decent sized tires. When I had them in the bed of my truck, I was like, holy crap, man. These things look like 37s almost. But... Uh, I mean, I'm super pumped, super stoked on uh, how the truck came out with this setup. I've always wanted to run uh, American Force wheel polished on a 305, and I finally get the chance to. So, super excited, super pumped. Uh, we'll see what I'm going to get next. I do want to get some spike lug nuts, or if I don't get that, I'll just get some, um, some locking lugs, because I am lacking that right now. But um, don't worry about the headlights, and I think somebody commented on the last video or whatever. Um, your headlights are trash. Headlights are freaking garbage. And I'll be the first one to point out my flaws. Like, they are horrible. The paint under them is perfect. But, it's just these lens, man. These third-gen lens are just freaking horrible. But, um, I got some plans for it. Um, probably just gonna buy a factory headlight that's, like, brand new or whatever. One of the ones off of eBay. And just swap the lens over. And, um, call it a day. Or I might clear them or just whatever. Like I said, the grill's gonna get color matched along with mirrors handles tailgate handle and things like that it's just i'm not going to do none of that out here and i'm not going to do it before the end of this year because um, i got too much stuff going on and um uh, just for um 
just be taking things off the truck or whatever. It's easy to swap wheels and tires. I mean, that takes nothing. But, like, when you come to mirrors and door handles and stuff like that, uh, I don't have the time for it right now. So, it's going to get done. We're going to do LEDs in the fogs. Um, definitely, like I said, we're going to get a new AC condenser. But, if it works, um, don't fix it, right? Um, new paint on the bumper. Like I said, I'll show you guys my imperfections. I'm not scared. So, yeah. I'm not sure what happened with this. The fog light still works, but... Yeah. That's horrible. And the reason I've been reluctant to change it is because um, I'm going to switch to LED pods, so I'm not too worried about it right now. This, I got backed into. Um, didn't realize it till a few days after. And, yeah. So... The whole Laramie bumper is going to get repainted. Uh, but you honestly, you wouldn't believe how many offers I get all the time on people wanting to buy this bumper off of me. It's ridiculous. There's another shot of the wheels. They came out freaking perfect, man. They ride they ride amazing. Not to say that those didn't, but I mean, I, I, mean, I love these things. They look good. So yeah, I do have some plans for tomorrow. Um, I'm actually going to go to the shop and... Um, I'll be polishing those wheels. I guess it's my first time polishing. I got some tips from some people and um, just see what I can do right now. I mean, I mean, they look good in camera, but when you really look at it, um, like in close in person and things like that, they don't, they're, they're, they're like hazy, they're foggy. They got a slight little bit of oxidation on it, which, um, I'm not sure what could cause that. Maybe it's because the wheels came from up North and with all their chemicals and stuff that they have up there. But I knew, I do know what, um, polished or forged wheels they're super easy or I wouldn't say easy but they're pretty tedious but they are um they're worth getting them repolished and things like that because they'll come out looking like they just came off the um the lot or whatever assembly line I guess so yep so that's the truck update like I said I got some stuff going on tomorrow um and also if you could um like the video subscribe um turn on your post notifications and my social media is always down in the description. So I'll see you guys next. All right, peace.